between the car issue and just worrying about him nonstop and um, everything else that's crashing in. Uh, I'm okay. I just, it's a lot to manage. Anyway, I'm going to turn off your light now, Daniel. And it's time to say goodnight to all of our friends in the world and see. It's midnight. Okay. I'm really tired. And all I can hear is this. Laughing. Hi. Giggling. <laughs> Aren't you going to go to sleep? Huh? You tired? You should be. Puppy came to say hello. He's thinking about something funny. Blinky's on. I'm gonna get cold. The camera doesn't want to focus. Go give Daniel kisses. <gasps> Go give him kisses. Uh oh, Henry's in the bed. Go give him kisses. <laughs> Not on the lips. He kisses him right on the lips. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I can't even see him in the camera. It's just like this uh, black blob. Uh, Henry. Come on, Henry. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 really? Uh, you think it's funny? Huh? Uh, yeah, you know exactly uh, what you're doing. Uh, so I just um, got a phone call while I was at the deli with Sarah that Daniel was getting ready to get on the bus with Judy and you know getting ready for school, and he had a really intense and severe episode of ratching, gagging. And then he had a seizure, what appears to be a, a, about a 10 to 12 second long episode where he threw his head back, eyes rolled, got real pale. And uh, I'm, I'm actually on my street. I'm almost home. I told her, just hang on. She said she's not going to put him on the bus. Um, it's, it's really frustrating because I don't, I don't have my van. I actually just thought I was going to have an normal day because on to work I took this car so that I could go to work because Sarah doesn't have work but she's got the other car to drive Thomas for me so she drove Thomas to Danbury for his program and I was supposed to take this car go home take a shower and go over to work at the Allstate office for six or seven hours but now I'm just kind of freaking out a little bit because Daniel hasn't had a seizure in a very long time. Now I'm going home to... Why is it so hard? Why? Why, um, why is he having a seizure now? Okay, gotta manage it. Gotta handle it. Gotta do it. Hi, you're so pale. You can always tell if Daniel has a seizure because his lips turn really pale. Yeah. Like he loses his yeah. facial sheet like. <laughs> trying to turn it off. I'm not trying to make you cold. I just wanted the light. Did you write it on the seizure log? Yeah, I'm going to write it on the seizure log. Get it on the log. There we go, right?
Anyway. How am I supposed to go to work, Judy? I can't go to work. Unless he really can... <coughs> oh. Oh, yeah, that key aspirated. Did you get the vest out? Did you check his O2 level yet? Not yet, no. Made it back in here. I'll go, I'll go. Get his monitor. I gotta strip his bed. Help you with that. Hello. Are you go watch uh, No seizures allowed. I love you. You're scaring me. Seizures are very scary. I don't know if they're going to continue. I don't know if it's a one-time thing or a continuous thing. I feel like I'm losing my mind. And John's like, well, maybe you should go to work for a few hours. I'm like, sitting there with Judy waiting to know whether or not I should call the ambulance. And I know he means if he stabilizes. But um, how can I do that when my mind has to focus on this kid? Come on, Henry. Let's go bodies. And then Henry has to go to the bathroom and he's barking at me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go, little friend. Okay, so I really, really miss Florida. <laughs> I do. Oh, boy. Back to this. It's um, almost 11 on Wednesday morning, and I am struggling a little bit. Uh, very worried about Daniel. Uh, he he did have a seizure, so he's laying in bed. Judy's taking care of him. He seems to be stable. And I couldn't go to work yesterday because of the car situation, and Monday when the other thing blew up, and it was just like this morning. I don't know, I had this massive anxiety attack, which now feels like guilt and depression. And I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's, it's really hard because I really should not be leaving my house, especially since if Daniel has a problem, it's gotta be a 911 call. And I feel like hard to explain if, if this is gonna happen today am I gonna go there and, and work really hard for nothing or am I gonna go there and work really hard and I guess I should just keep working really hard and just not worry about it and just keep focusing on getting better but right now today I'm just sick to my stomach about Daniel and um, I keep saying I gotta find a better way to do things or uh, some other way and then something happens and it just sucks away my energy and time and how do you find that you know like after that's gone <sighs> I don't feel good at all I feel it's like my stomach is just gonna go BAM ah so I'm I'm done with work I actually was able to put in four and a half hours Daniel stayed with the nurse all day he doesn't feel well but he's been he's been okay and when she got him up he didn't do too good but Thank God we're seeing the doctor tomorrow. Hopefully when they make adjustments to this pump thing, it'll make him feel better. I don't know. I, I, yes, this morning was so scary. Um, but seizures are like that, you know? Which is very unpredictable. And yeah, now I'm getting some groceries for the kids. Just a few things that we need in the house, because... I don't know. I only have one car. Sarah's got the other car and the van is done for it's screwed I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna get Dale to the doctor tomorrow I still have to figure that out well that's an interesting night um, I was in talking to Ian Daniel's nurse and just looked at deal I didn't look too good then he groaned a little and all of a sudden the color just like dropped from his face so um, I think he's sleeping now. The nurse just left. Yeah, 
lights are dimmed in here. Oy vey. Let's check on him one more time. Everybody okay? You okay? I think he's just calling my nights. I tell you, you know, heart rate drops to 53 and it's not typical for him. It can really make it crazy. So what's going to happen is I'm going to set my alarm and I'm going to get up several times a night if I even fall asleep because I worry when he goes weird on me. But I just uploaded one little clip of what happened because he did have a seizure this morning that we didn't get a chance to tape. Um, but if I document these and uh, upload them, I can show them to his neurologist really fast and they can um, show the file, share the file rather. Anyhow, we're going to the doctor tomorrow who is the one who manages the baclofen pump. So hopefully, oh my God, it's just like between the car issue and just worrying about him nonstop and um, everything else that's crashing in. Oh, I'm okay. I just, it's a lot to manage. Anyway, I'm going to turn off your light now, Daniel. And it's time to say goodnight to all of our friends in the world. And see what tomorrow brings. Or tonight. Look at him. Sweet as an angel. Out. So tired. I love you, bear. Yeah. You need your little friend here. How about a bear? Every boy needs a bear. Even mommies and daddies. And then there's Henry, who, ever since we got home from vacation, I turn around and there he is. He's having a little depression issue, like he thinks I'm going to leave him. Henry, good night, night. You want good night, night? He's tired. Okay. This has been going all day. Thank you, Glade Candle. A pile of laundry. There's about six more of these that look just like this. Upstairs and downstairs that need to be folded. And um, then there's like about one, two, three, four, five, maybe between five and seven more that have to go in. It's like that every day around here, nonstop.